before we start building up our IP telephony system, our phone system, which is based on the IP, let's try to understand some terms and protocol related to the IP telephony. IP protocol work at a network level where information is sent in packets called IP packets. Now this is something more uh, technical definition of IP protocol and of course this is a technical course but let's understand from a very layman definition. The network that we connect our computer devices like laptop etc is an example of this network. Once connected to the IP network, we are able to surf the internet, can send an email, or even can do the chat. Each of this service is using a particular IP protocol. For example, when you surf a web page, you type http colon slash slash website address dot com in your browser. Now, HTTP is a protocol in this case, where we request a web page from a web server, it then transport on this protocol and appear in our web browser. In case of voice call, the same happen, that's why we call it VoIP or Voice over Internet Protocol. As HTTP is a protocol carries web pages from web server to our web browser, similarly we need a protocol that can carry our voice from our endpoint device like IP phone to the voice server and then voice server forward it to our dialed destination. This protocol is known as SIP. SIP is the widely adopted protocol for the VoIP. It's IETF Internet Engineering Task Force Standard for VoIP Communication. This means any VoIP device manufactured by vendor, it has to be compatible with SIP for standard voice communication. Little more in detail about SIP. SIP is mainly responsible for signaling and establishing session. It uses default port 5060. Once this session is established, the voice contents flow using another protocol known as RTP, real-time protocol, that, that uses port ranging from 10,000 to 20,000. Along with RTP, there is another protocol called SDP, which is known as Session Description Protocol. The SDP contain information about established session like which voice codec is being used. Now at this stage, if you don't understand or you are not able to grab these information, don't worry about it. As you progress with the course, you will get used to it. It isn't that much difficult, trust me.